Hi, welcome to math class. This is Miss Sandy. This is activity two, things that come in arrays. Think of things that come in arrays. For each thing you think of, fill in all four columns of the chart. The first column is, what is it? The second column is, how many in the array? The dimensions is the third column, and the fourth column is drawing of the array. So we're gonna take a look at some simple household things. And the first thing that we're gonna look at is an ice cube tray. Okay, so the first thing that we wanna find out is what is it? Okay, it's an ice cube tray. The second thing that we wanna find out is how many in the array. And if you remember, arrays are composed of rows and columns, okay? So if we wanna find out how many's in this array, we're gonna look at the rows. There's row one and here's row two. And then we're gonna look at the columns, column one, column two, column three, column four, column five, column six, and column seven. Okay, so two different ways of taking a look at how many in the array. We have two rows and seven columns. Okay, so we could do repeated addition. So row one has seven and row two has seven. So we have seven plus seven would equal 14. So repeated addition is seven, the contents of row one and the contents of row two, seven plus seven is 14. Okay, the other thing that we can look at is multiplication. And when we do multiplication, we're taking a look at the rows. Here's row one and row two, we're starting with the rows. So we have two times the number of columns, the rows times the columns, right? So the columns are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have two times seven. Okay, so two times seven would be 14. Okay, so how many in the array? The answer is 14. Okay, and what was it? Ice cube tray with blue squares. The dimensions, remember when we're doing dimensions, um, we're starting with the rows, it would be two rows times the columns, which would be seven columns, and a drawing of the array would look like a rectangle. And here's row one, here's row two, and here's column one, column two, column three, column four, column five, column six, and here's column seven. Okay. All right, the second thing that we're gonna take a look at is eggs. So I have half a dozen eggs here. Okay, so let's take a look at the rows. Here's row one, here's row two, and here's row three. And then the other thing we need to determine is how many columns. Here's column one, Here's column two. All right, so let's fill in our grid here. Let's fill in our chart. What is it? It is six eggs, or half a dozen of eggs, or a carton of eggs. Okay. And then we're taking a look at how many rows we had, and we determined that we had one, two, three rows. Three rows, okay, and we're taking a look again and we had two columns, one, two, and two columns. Okay, so repeat addition, we have two in the first row, two in the second row, and two in the third row. So repeat addition would look like this. 2 plus 2 plus 2. And 2 plus 2 is 4 plus the other 2 is 6. Okay, the other way of looking at this would be multiplication. Okay, so we have 1, 2, 3 rows. So that would be 3 times 1, 2 columns. 3 times 2 would also equal 6. So the number of 
items in this array is 6. Okay, our dimensions here would be our rows, 1, 2, 3. So that would be 3 times our columns, 3 times 2. Okay, and then the drawing of the array would look like this. Here is row 1, here's row 2, and here's row 3. Here's column 1, and here's column 2. Okay, the last thing we want to take a look at is this blue square. Okay, so what is it? It is a blue square. Okay, and how many in the array? Well, there's just one blue square, so there's just one. And what's its dimensions? So we have a row, one row, and we have a column. So this is a one by one. And a picture of it would look like this. Okay, now you go do your investigation, find out the things that are around your house that look like arrays, and then see if you can describe what it is, tell how many is in the array, tell what the dimensions are, and remember you're starting with the rows first, and then do a drawing of the array. Have fun.